Uh, one of the nice things about the GBD online compiler is that it, uh, it supports uh, boost libraries, which is not always available um, automatically in, in a lot of, um, say, in Visual Studio and so on. I have a little snippet of code. And I took this code from Fabrice Rua's website, um, Volupta. And basically, it's also just um, the binomial model, so Cox, Ross, Rubenstein, 1979 model. What's different here is normally when setting out the uh, stock price tree and then for backward induction, we have to declare in static memory um, the, the details of the tree. So we've got to dimension the tree and then each of the nodes is a data point that's got to be stored. <clears throat> and it's kind of stored twice because we developed the tree, we uh, produced the binomial lattice, and then we used that lattice uh, to then frame the um, backward induction. So boost is another way, instead of using vector, uh, Boost allows us to use this from its own libraries. It, it allows us to use matrix. So I'll just run that to see does it actually work. It um, doesn't always work when you load C++ code into a compiler and then use Boost. It's not automatically, not all compilers automatically will uh, allow you to proceed. Uh, but the GBD online compiler does. So let's just give it a run to see does it work and seems to take a second and then okay we put in the details in this instance we enter details so we could say c for call american option um enter the spot price so i'll say 100 um strike 100 maturity one year volatility 20 percent risk free rate five and enter the number steps now i'll go with a thousand and I know the answer to this, um, these parameter values should be approximately 104506. And because there's no dividend being uh, developed here in this particular tree, um, the value of the European and American option are the same. So I'm just going to run that um, or return that. And we wait for the value. And the value comes quite fast, uh, 1044. 86 again i'll run it again and this time so it seems quite fast uh particularly when we take into account that it's static memory not dynamic memory that's been developed so we'll take a call option again and we put in um american we enter a value for the stock price or the spot price for the stock um exercise is 100 the same the value of the maturity one year, volatility 20%, risk free rate 5, and this time I put in 5,000 steps, and the level of accuracy should increase. We just enter, and of course, this time it's just taking a little bit longer because the number of steps involved is 5,000, but still relative, relatively prompt. 1045 looks quite good. Um, the true value would be 104506, I think. It's definitely 1045. So this code is, well, first of all, the code is working well. No issues with the code. Also, boost here is included, and that's quite handy. That's a very handy feature in a C, compi C++ compiler.